What's going on guys, Morris back, bringing you the final episode in Season 6 of Pokemon Road to Victory. As we leave this gym here, there's probably some story points, I can only imagine. Yep, that did not take long at all. There's the future champ I know and love. Looks like you trumped our old gym leader. Let's never a bad thing to test the limits of your strength. Am I right or am I right? And since you're here such a star, I guess that that means you're off to the Pokemon League. It does indeed. You know what? You have all the gym badges now, so there's really only one thing left to do. It's time you headed off to the Pokemon League. Listen up now. Trust in your Pokemon, and there's no limit to what you can achieve. Alright. I don't remember where the Pokemon League is in this game, so I guess we're going to check our map real quick. Alright. I believe this is Victory Road. Yep, this gate is the entrance to Victory Road, and only Pokemon trainers who've collected all eight badges can pass. One, two, three, four. You have all eight. Oh, and you're going to test my ability. Okay. Because you're definitely as strong as the Elite Four is. <sighs> oh, finally. Thank goodness. I was getting kind of tired of being stuck underground. Alright, time to challenge the Elite Four, I guess. Okay. You're the illustrious Morsebringe, aren't you? Welcome at last to the Pokemon League. I am one of the Elite Four. People know me as the Fire-type Pokemon user Malva. Here in the Pokemon League, you'll encounter the four of us, the Elite Four and our champion. If you hope to meet the champion and challenge her here, you must first defeat the four of us. Do your best, because if you can't impress us with your real strength, you'll never get to battle her. But it should be a walk in the park for you, right? The hero who destroyed Big Bad Team Flare. Ahead. I think we'll start by going to the left here. Not really sure what we're going for. Ironworks Chamber. So steel type. Let's see what the deal is with steel type. And probably way too long cutscene. That looks cool the first time. And probably looked awesome in 2016. We just have better graphics now. And they're fast. Well met, young challenger. Verily, am I the Elite Force, famed blade of hardened steel, wick strong. With my magnificent Pokemon at my side, I will reveal the scope of trainer achievement. Let us both give our word that our contest shall be fair and honorable. Ready? On guard! Okay. Versus Wickstrom. Starts with the Klefki. Let's go, Clingy. Let's go, let's go. Let's hit it with the power up punch. All right. It's most of its life. Give this another shot. Woo, that hurt. Rather surprising from a Klefki. Okay. Got plus two now. Okay. We'll keep battling. I'm pretty sure Purple Pass is an easy win. We'll go for go for the power up punch. Plus two, almost. So now we're plus three. Oh! Oh! I don't know what to do about that. Um. Go frog. Let's see. We 
leech seed. I know it has sturdy. I was pretty sure we were going to see the full restore there. So if we leech seed, we should be able to get around sturdy. Alright, then we'll hit it with the petal blizzard. Oh, that did hardly anything. as much. Alright, um, I guess we'll just keep doing this and try and stall it. That's my best guess. This is, nope, use the full restore. I was gonna say, I think this is final turn, but not if he's healing. Might try and reactivate Leech Seed and then switch out and see if somebody else can do a little bit better. Because Leech Seed only lasts so long, I think. Seated. So I guess we go bugs. We'll hit it with surf. I guess I thought I still had a water shuriken on this. Surf is much. All of these moves are a little bit better than that anyway. Until newer generations where you get access to uh, loaded dice. Got an Aegislash coming. Bubs can deal with that with Lick, I think. Maybe not great, but I think it can use it. Signature move. Shields itself. Use Lick again. Let's see if we can act. Oh, no, that does. Uh, next, another. But we did get a Paralysis. And that is far more important. Now it switches to aggro stance. Sacred sword's gonna hurt a lot. Um, let's go for another lick. Since now it's outside of its uh, defense form. Yeah, did almost half his HP there. But he's gonna take Bubs out here. Go in with our. We don't have an Aegis Slash because I don't think you can access the Dusk Stone yet to evolve it. So I think if we Shadow Sneak, we can get around it. Yep, there we go. Alright, there we go. Good, good. Torch Crew level 66. Awesome. Switch into a Caesar. Really wish Torch knew some fire type moves. That's what would be good here. But in a moment of not paying attention, I replaced his fire move with a steel type move. Let's go for fly. This should still be super effective. I don't think steel resists flying. Wickstorm. Glorious. The trust that you share with your honorable Pokemon surpasses even mine. 
What now? It's sweet glorious pain and joy. Now rock my mighty heart. Why I will, will my will, which even Shakespeare's trembles at so fine a battle as this, I am undone. Good sir, you are indeed our equal, and worthy to enter this lofty hall. Easy, child, you need not explain. It is no mystery to me why you came to me first. Nature herself has framed man as such a creature that any would choose to face their strongest enemy before all others. Now to the elevator with you. It burns with the desire to hasten you on your way. Is that what this is here in the back? Oh, no, that's just his throne. Oh, okay. You go to the center, and it teleports you back. Then his door closes, and we'll go to the blazing chamber. Okay. I'm going to say that this is probably fire type. I had to take a wild guess at it. Um, and in as much, let's go for bag and go ahead and revive. Um, well, we can revive Clingy, but I was gonna say let's revive uh, Bubs. We'll revive Frog while we're at it. How many? I have plenty of hyper potions. All right, here we go. Let's go. Welcome, challenger, to my blazing chamber. I am Malva, and I shall be your opponent today. Very short to sink, unlike the steel type leader. He wanted to carry on a whole conversation. All right, we'll start here. We'll go for the mega evolution and power up punch. Because as long as this works, it works great. I know one of these leaders is fairy type and it will not work at all there. Yeah, see it already doesn't really work. Um we'll go for Bubs. Bubs can deal with talent blame, I think. He's Brave Bird. Really? Bubbles was supposed to be the ace in this fight. Um. I don't think fire resists steel. If it has good fire moves, this is not good. Yeah, flare blitz, yeah. Strange that it has all recoil moves, though. It's not very effective, so it does resist it. Let's switch into Yosef. It'll try and flare blitz again, I'm sure. Oh no, use the floor restore. Alright. Let's go for Dark Pulse. Because I think Talon Flame is a physical defender. And Dark Pulse is a uh, special move. Brave Bird hurts, but not too bad. It keeps hurting itself more than anything else. Okay. Level 64. Switch to a Torkoal. Yeah, I'd like to switch. I'd like to switch to Bubs, but Bubs did really, really bad against Talon playing with two misses. Let's go for the power up punches again. While it works, it works. The only problem with using Kalini is he is a steel type. And he is then susceptible to fire type moves. He just keeps buffing himself, but he's not buffing his HP stat at all. Or his speed. Got a crit, got to ignore all of the stat changes he had. Very nice. Um, we are got to switch out for this combo. There is no way we're fighting a Chandelure. That is, that is a fantastic matchup against Lucario. Um, let's go for Snarl, because I think Chandelure will be better on special defense. I could be completely wrong, and um, Snarl is also a special attack, but I'm pretty sure it's a physical attack. All right, Yosef leveled up. That's nice. What's news? What news? So a new challenger has defeated Melva of the Elite Four. 
Fantastic, utterly fantastic. I'll report to all the world the news of you and your Pokemon dominating the Pokemon League. I am a hollow caster star after all. <laughs> I'm such a busy woman. Beat the last two members of the Elite Four and you can face the champion. Alright. I don't know who's up next. Dragon Mark. Oh, do we even have anything to do with the dragon? I don't think we do. I really don't think there's anything I have that deals with dragon type Pokemon. Like, at all. Oh, that was a waste. Hopefully, it doesn't matter that much. Oh. Because I don't think fighting's very good against dragon. I don't think it's super, like, not very effective or anything. It's just not a great type. Steel does resist the dragon. So I think we're fine going in with Clingy. Oh, and Clingy has dragon type moves, that's right. So we can get some good power up punches. I think Drasna goes down to us. Starting with the dragon. Okay, this is dragon poison, I believe. Um, let's hit it with the power up punch. Go ahead and get buffed up. I don't think the dragon has enough to take us down. Oh, it is not very effective. Um, so we'll keep with the plus one. Okay, Thunderbolt. Why lightning moves? Um, we'll hit it with another power up punch. Okay, that was a good read. I was going for it just kind of being the end there, but then we'll hit it with the Dragon Pulse. Now we'll be two up on power. We're attack plus two. Um, level 69. Nice. Um, Frog and Bub's leveled up. Switch to a Noivern. We'll keep going. And I think we're just gonna go for Dragon Pulse and try and spam it out. Almost a one shot. I know it doesn't have... Ooh. Took out clean. Okay. Um, Noivern is Dragon the line so who who does the best here I uh, don't know who the answer is I'm gonna go for Durandal just kind of hope this works shadow sneak's gonna be good it's a neutral effective stab move priority Noivern is a fairly fast Pokemon but does Noivern have any answers to this? Oh, Flamethrower, yeah. Duh. I knew I had that, too. We'll go for another one, just to try and get that damage in, since Durandal does have a priority move. I don't think Torch does good with flying moves against it. But there is a chance that it kind of... Oh, no, that worked great. Okay. Cool. An Altaria. Um, we'll go for Yosef. Just because stats on Altaria are really high, and I don't think Talonflame has the stats to deal with that. We'll go for Dark Pulse. Okay, not quite. I'm not quite there. I don't like that it's trying to put me to sleep, though. But it tried twice and failed, so. It's up for the same end Bubs did in the last fight. Um, we'll keep, we'll keep Yosef out. Yosef is a pretty, pretty big powerhouse. This Elite Four member only has four Pokemon? I think the other ones might have done that too. Alright, Bubs got drug out. Let's hit it with Hydro Pump. I know it's not very effective. We get stabbed and it's special. What if we lick? Can we paralyze it? No, rough skin just takes us out. Um, we just need something fast. I think Torch has got the speed. Let's go for it. There we go. No, 
nice. All right, level 67 for Torch. Ironic, since he doesn't have fire type moves. Oh dear me, that was such a quick battle. I do hope you'll come back again sometime. Oh you, you're too much. You and your Pokemon are simply charming. Oh, oh you're going already? Farewell then with your Pokemon. I'm sure you can beat the last of us. Okay. Which is here. Flood Chamber. Water type. I could have swore there was a fairy type in this. Maybe it's the elite form, like the champion that has a bunch of fairy type moves. I don't know, but we lost three to that fight. I happen to have enough um, revives to do all of this apparently, which is nice. Bring you back up. Yes, is back up. This is the final battle, so let's just use what we got. Or this isn't the final battle, but we're about to go into the final battle, so. No point holding on to a bunch of this stuff. Okay, so flood chamber. So this is a water type one. Frog could do decent here. But I don't know that that's gonna be the play. No, I simply can't stay. You there, young man, I have a question I must pose to you. Do you think Pokemon battling can ever be worthy of being called an art? Yeah, indeed. You see, cooking is the type of art that disappears as soon as it is completed. Pokemon battles are the same. Even memories of sweet victory soon fade after the battle ends. To devote yourself entirely to such a life, made up of fleeting experience that is truly artful. Alright, Seibold. Seibold, I don't know what your name is. Let's go clingy! I can't remember what type this thing is. So we're just gonna sh go for whatever we can. And off chance it's water dark type. And that would be great. But I don't think it was. Oh my gosh! What? I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna do a waste switch on torch. So I can heal Clingy. But what in the world just happened? Bags, HP. Um, max potion, I guess. Alright. Oh no, we let Gyarados get a free setup turn. We just need to do big damage. Waterfall. Ooh! Okay. That was... That was some real good luck there. Um... I think the Rondal does decent here. Not surprising. Um, so now it's on plus one attack, because you get a minus one attack from being burnt, I believe. So now it's back up to plus two. I mean, it's cool that you're doing all this. But you keep boosting your speed, which isn't going to help you. But yeah, that plus five probably will. Um, let's go for Yosef. Earthquake can't hit Yosef. Let's hit him with the Dark Pulse. I know he's fast. He's potent. There we go. Thank goodness we took that out. That was going to be a problem. Um, let's go back to Clingy. Yeah, letting a Gyarados get that setup turn was not great. Um, let's go for the Power Punch. Should be super effective. Yep. Give us a plus one. Cross drop and beat. Get crit and one shot us. That that's fantastic. That's just what I always wanted. Go frog. Pedal blizzard. And this is four times super effective, I believe. Yeah. All right. Yosef grew to level fifty nine and wants to learn the move psychic. You're. 
Oh, this is a special. Okay, the user yells as if it's ranting about something which lowers the special attack stat of opposing Pokemon. Oh. Oh, we'll lose Snarl. I'm fine with that. A Starmie. Let's switch to Yosef. I think Yosef can Dark Pulse a single hit and Starmie. Even with the light screen. Oh no, okay, it's gonna take two. Unless he uses fairy type moves and takes me out. Great. Alright, frog. Oh, don't tell me that the water type leader is where we go down here. Let's go for Durango here. Let's go for Lake. We're faster, okay. But this is gonna take us out. So I'm glad we did what we did. And now if we have Shadow Sneak, which is priority and super effective. Okay. I shall store my memory of you and your Pokemon forever away within my heart. Thank you. Devote yourself entirely so even that which will fade and disappear is ingrained forever upon your heart and mind. That is the only fate for any human. You have drawn forth the strength of Pokemon with your own particular style and method. And now you can challenge the champion. Alright. That door will open. And let's go through and do a full revive on the team. Ooh, we are out of, um, we have three of those. Do I have a, um, oh, pretty good as four. I would have got a rare candy at some point in this playthrough. They're not like a... Yeah, sort of by name. Okay. No rare candies. Weird. Okay. I guess we will... Max Revive here. Welcome at last, dear trainer. As you must know, I am the champion Diantha. Oh, but you are? You are the child I spoke to in Lumio City and Cormarine City, aren't you? Then that means you are also the one that dear Augustine said. Of course, how could I? Oh, I must look like such a fool not to recognize you sooner. You and your Pokemon are the ones who stopped Team Flare for us all. It seems wrong of me to say this, but thank you. You saved us all. I can't wait to see what you and your Pokemon are capable of now that I know exactly what it is you've done already. Hopefully, it's put up a fight. Starting with Halucha. Um, I don't like this matchup. But we're gonna take the matchup. We're not gonna take the matchup, actually. I'm gonna go with he uses something fighting or flying. So we're gonna switch into... I think Torch is the safest. Torch has flying type moves and can withstand both fighting and flying moves if it uses... Oh no, it used Swords Dance, so it got a setup turn. Um, let's go for Fly. It might get another setup turn here. Nope, it's a miss. Oh, and one-shots it, because it's still super effective. 
flying doesn't resist flying. Yeah. All right, going to Tarantrum. This is Dragon Rock. Um. So you're gonna get resisted. Clingy won't. So if we get Clingy in here, we could probably go ahead and start with our power up punches. Without worrying about too much damage being dealt to us. Alright, into my new Lorcario. Power up punch, we go first. Take out most of it. Ooh, Earthquake actually does hurt. Okay, not that much though. That takes it out. So now, Clingy should be faster than most Pokemon and has a plus two to attack. Sending out the Gudra. Let's hit it with the Dragon Pulse. Not a very powerful move, but with plus two attack, still not quite enough. This is gonna lose Lucario. Yep. Okay. Uh, to Yosef. Back to back Dragon Stink, because we did not set up for dragons. Let's go for the Dark Pulse. Okay. Dragon Pulse does not hurt us very much. Goes to Full Restore, not surprising. Dark Pulse. Can we get a flinch on this Dark Pulse? Yep, there we go. Okay, there's three. We need one more. Um, we can go with the Dark Pulse. Oh, you're full restored. We'll hit it with the, the Dark Pulse. It can't flinch that one. Let's go for Oblivion Wing, try and get some HP back. Yeah, it did not do anything. I say we stick to the Dark Pulse and hope it works. Well, we are about to run out of those. But it's not going to do it in time. We're going to take out the Gudra first. All right, awesome. Uh, switch to Aurora. Let's switch. Let's go for Durandal. Durandal's got Fighting Titans, and I think that'll be very nice to have here. Let's go for the Sacred Sword. Use Reflect, okay. Um, increases his defense, which is going to be good against Sacred Sword. Uh, use Thunder. That was a low chance of hitting, but that's nice. Alright. Drondo leveled up. A Georgis. Let's stay in this fight. Uh, priority ghost move for the win. Oh, actually, not really. Um, we're gonna go Swords Dance. We can't hit it anyway. But we're probably gonna lose, yeah. I could have switched there. Let's go for Yosef. If Yosef hits first, we win this matchup. Nope, use his shadow snake. Probably should have healed up first. Um, let's go for Bubs. We're on the back foot here. I'm not liking that. You're faster. Seed Bomb hurts a lot. Lick again. Let's get a Paralysis in here. Awesome. I don't know how I keep calling those. This is the second one I've called. Okay. If we go into Frog, Frog can withstand most stuff a Gorgas is going to throw out. So just go into the bag, grab the Max Revive, and bring back Yosef. Use Trick or Treat. The Ghost type was added. I'm now a Ghost type. That could potentially be problematic actually let's go for Durandal I think her ace is very tight um we don't have a whole lot here let's leech seed okay so you avoided it oh it doesn't affect Yorgis of course it doesn't I forgot leech seed doesn't affect grass types What other option do I have here? I can't attack, so I mean, let's just throw out the X attack. 
Oh, that only affects the one Pokemon. I don't think I've ever used one of the X things, so that, I guess that makes sense. Okay, so now we have Yosef, who can actually come into combat this time. Since it's paralyzed, we'll go first with the Oblivion Wing, and probably one tap it, yeah. Yosef's probably not the smartest choice if it is a fairy ace. Gardevoir. Gardevoir actually is susceptible to um, dark moves, but we don't have those anymore. So let's just go for the Oblivion Wing. Kind of expected the Mega Evolution. Not surprised at all. Into Oblivion Wing. Decent damage. Got about a quarter chunk out of it. Fairy type moves absolutely suck. Um, and let's go for Durandal. Durandal is on the back step here. The Shadow Sneak will be super effective, and we resist all of its fairy moves. And we don't even have to worry about it, because we just took it out. Witnessing the noble spirits of you and your Pokemon in battle has really touched my heart. I'm kind of surprised we got through that first try. I'm so choked up that it's hard to know what I should say, but I, I, I'm just glad at this moment that I was good enough to be the champion. After all, it gave me the chance to meet in battle with you and your wonderful Pokemon. Now I understand why dear Augustine, Professor Sycamore, said he needed to get Lumio City ready for the new champion. But before I take you there, my dear Moresbridge, would you mind coming this way with me? Very surprised that was the first try. I'm happy that it was the first try, because it was a pretty long Elite Four. Um, but awesome. Here we are. I'm so glad to welcome you in. This grand chamber is where you enter the Kalos region's Hall of Fame. This is where Pokemon trainers will live on forever, remembered always for giving their all in battle to the Pokemon League and for the glory and light that they shared with all. Come, Mosbinch, your love for your Pokemon, and the way that those Pokemon gave everything they had in battle for you. We'll record them all right here for eternity. The Hall of Fame. Klingy. Frog. Yosef. Durandal. Bubs. Torch. And now we are the League Champion. Thank you all for watching as we play through 6th Gen here. We are now the League Champion, so we will be moving on to, I believe, the Alola region next week. Hopefully y'all will join me in that. Uh, make sure to leave some comments on this video down below, letting me know what Pokemon you'd like to see as I travel through the Alola region. Uh, make sure to subscribe so you can be notified for when those videos come out. And leave a like. Just let me know that you enjoy this content. And I'll see y'all in the next one. As this kind of credit rolls out, I'm going to let it go. But I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.